guys, it's Steph from Companion Banjos. Today we have a banjo in the shop for a little setup work. While we have it, our customers asked us to make a custom truss rod cover. So we thought we'd take you along from design to installation. So let's head on over to the design desk and see how it all happens. Once the concept is finalized with the customer, the design is specially prepared for cutting on the CNC machine. We had some leftover purple heart from a previous project, so I thinned it down to the proper thickness using the drum sander. Next, it's on to the CNC machine. I secure the workpiece with clamps onto a simple spoil board. Once the tiny end mill is in position, we can start the cut. The pocket and oval shape will take about 10 minutes. I program tiny tabs that will hold the piece down so it won't fly off the table. After the wood portion of the project is completed, it's on to the pearl inlay. This cut takes just a few minutes. The pearl is held into place with a bit of super glue and comes off easily once the cut is complete. Now for a quick cleanup of the purple heart on the spindle sander. It takes me a few minutes to remove the tabs and get it looking good. We're now ready to glue the pearl in place. A few drops of super glue works perfectly to secure the pearl. The glue will dry for a few minutes, then it's off to the spray room. For this piece, we're going to use about five to six coats of satin lacquer with a bit of level sanding in between. Once the lacquer is dry, it's time to install the cover. I drill a new top hole and it's ready to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of how we made this truss rod cover. Here in the shop, we make all kinds of custom designs from banjo inlays, truss rod covers, armrests, and more. So if you're interested in adding a special element to your instrument or interested in a custom banjo, Connect with us through our website at companionbanjos.com or find us on Facebook. So until next time, happy picking.